everybody, this is Visit Joan and welcome to another house tour video. Now, there are probably quite a few of you that recognize the house we are standing in front of right now. And that's because this is the Pleasant family home. Now, I built this house back in April when I first got my computer. And, you know, since then we've got new packs, we've gotten, you know, the ability to put photos on tables. And so I have redone this house a little bit. Some changes are you know, pretty major, but the backyard is basically the same. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you that right now while I'm talking. But, um, yeah, I started this renovation. Actually, I started this renovation back in August, right around the time Moschino came out, because then we had just gotten the update to put photos on tables and we just gotten, you know, the overhaul of the photo system. So I figured, you know what, why not? I'm going to put photos all over this home because, you know, this home is used as, like I said, for trouble in paradise. And I wanted there would be family photos in there. I mean, that that's just something that they would have, you know? And so I thought that would be kind of kind of a good idea to do that. There you can see the backyard there. Um, the speed build of this house did go up in August, I believe it was. It was either late July or early August. And so I have, I will have that linked at the end. But anyway, I feel like, you know, these houses that they use as sets and stuff, they're always works in progress. If I see another you know, a piece of furniture or something that I feel like would fit in the house. I'm going to throw it in there. And if it changes enough, I'm going to do another tour. So this may not be, you know, the only one I do, but for right now, this is it. This is Pleasant Family Home. Also, I do think I should probably inform you that Daniel has moved out of this house. So just letting you know. But anyway, we're going to go in the front door right here. And this is kind of like the entryway of the house, like the hub or the middle, or I don't even exactly know what you call it. But, you know, over here we see we have the little entryway, we have the backpacks for the girls right here. And this has not changed too much. The only really thing that is too different is, well, the hanging plant from Tiny Living Stuff. But also um, the pictures on the walls, which I believe, okay, yeah, I'm going to show you them in a minute. Okay. So these are basically family pictures. The one on the right is actually from Cassandra and Don's wedding. So, and the one on the left is a more recent one, which, you know, I did use the Moschino stuff pack for that, but I did have the girls sit down for that picture. So anyway, we're going to go in through here, through this tiny living room. Yes, I know this living room is so tiny, but, um, yeah, not all that much has changed in here. I did switch the light out. I did, um... What else did I do? I did put a picture right there. There's a Lindsay, as you can see. Um, there's a magazine rack, because I just figured that would be there. There's a picture right here of the girls when they were young children. Well, maybe not that young. I'd say that's probably about second, third grade baby, and they're on the swings there. And then I also have a couple of school photos, as you can see. We can see here's Angela's school photo. She just looks like her happy self there. And there's Lilith's school photo. And, you know, she kind of I don't know. She looks happy too. But I also have this like board here. Maybe that's to keep track of everyone's schedules and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it for the living room. I don't know how the whole family even fits in there. Well, I guess there's only three of them now. So, but anyway, we're going to head into the master bedroom. And first thing you're probably going to notice is that the bed is different. And that's because, you know, when Mary Sue caught Daniel in the affair, she's like, no, you, you get out of here and take that bed with you. I'm not sleeping in the bed that you betrayed me in. Like, that's disgusting. But, um, yeah, so she just got a whole new bed and she just totally lived it up too. Um, so you can see over here, we still got the fireplace. There were some pictures on the walls, which were kind of in the one video. I guess I'll probably link that one at the end as well. But obviously there were pictures of her and Daniel, so she obviously took those down. But we have kind of like a little shelf here and there's some vases that, you know, Mary Sue used to enjoy pottery. So she probably made that as well as the plate. We have a revamped little wardrobe area and kind of vanity. And I kind of went with the more, um, I don't really want to say old fashioned, but traditional looking one, just because it really just fit the room better. And I feel like, you know, she's friends with Cassandra. So maybe that could have been a gift from the goth family. I mean, I don't really know who goes around giving vanities as gifts, but 
I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go through here. Here is the ensuite bathroom. You can see you still have, oh wow, Daniel didn't take all the stuff when he left. But um, I got a backsplash in here now. And I think like the tile in the original one was like purple. So I kind of put the purple in the backsplash. But I did add the um tiny living, whatchamacallit, shelf thing in there. And again, not much here has changed. It's just a bathroom. But you know, I think this is probably where the washer and dryer would also be, but I just didn't want to screw around putting that in the house. I mean, I did it for one video, but I don't know. It, it just kind of, I just kind of didn't want it here. So, um, yeah, but anyway, we're going to go back. See, there's more, you know, stuff, basically hanging stuff. Well, not hanging stuff, but stuff where you put um information in and stuff from school. And okay, here we go. Here we have, you know, more pictures of the girls when they were young and, you know, a family calendar. And through this door, I don't think we're going to go through it yet. Okay, maybe we are. Yeah, we are. Okay. So again, it's a really simple bathroom. Nothing to see here. It's just, you know, it's a complete, it, it's a bathroom. I think I might have added that um, little bathroom cabinet, but that's pretty much it. So yeah, so we're going to go through here. Here's Angela, just some pictures of Angela when she was younger. And there's another vase Mary Sue may or may not have made. And then there's one of Angela's school projects on this little poof in the um, middle of the hallway here. I guess we could call this the hallway. But um, it's a really interesting house layout. But anyway, we're going to go through here. We're going to go into the kitchen. And I did revamp the kitchen quite a bit because I put a lot of stuff on the shelves. And I've learned how to make kitchens that look good now. So um, the one thing that really just bugs me is this jungle adventure shelving. When I put it here, there's like no light on it. And that just, it's just, I, there's nothing I can do about that. It really just irks me. I put a light above it, but um, there's not that much there. And so... I don't know. It just it just looks bad, but you know there, there's nothing I can do about that. And apparently they haven't emptied out the coffee pot in a while. How does coffee even spoil anyway? I I don't get that at all. But um, there's a bunch of stuff here. You know, a cookie jar, salt and pepper shakers, um, and a bunch of just knickknacks over here, like a bunch of wooden spoons and stuff that you would use for cooking, and you know, spice racks and another salt and pepper shaker, but. Maybe it's like a little bit less. Maybe they're a little bit different. There's stuff over here. There's like tea and um, the paper towels and stuff like that. But that's, you know, the main difference about the kitchen is just there's their little island thing that's there. And um, I also added the um, tiny living thing again because it's, it's just a good thing to add to kitchens. And there's like a little plant there. And this is the part here where I actually did forget that there was a window in this part of the house. But I think it works with this house because the garage is right there. And so you just don't want to like go out and stare at the garage. So I like the way it turned out. But anyway, here is the dining area. We have, you know, just the family table and another beautiful fireplace with another landscape photo above it. And another photo of the girls. Now, this one, they're hanging out on top of the monkey bar. This was probably before they started fighting too much. And if we go over here, you can see that here is, you know, the collage of pictures of Lilith when she was younger. So, you know, we got toddler, we got grade school, and then we got preteen years there. And also, I added this little shelf here with the um, monkey because very soon she does have, you know, Asian heritage probably. But anyway, this picture, you know, it, it it's still here because he's still their father, guys. Like... I feel like, you know, as long as the girls live in this house, Mary Sue is not going to, you know, take down pictures of their father because he still means something to them. And so I think she's just going to be like an adult about it. But there's some beautiful pictures of them when they were younger with both of their parents. So, yeah, um, there's a beautiful light fixture. I don't know what the heck I was thinking when I recorded this. So one last look at this room in here, and we're going to head out to probably the area that has changed the most in this house. This is the study area. And well, first we got this area over here. This is like Mary Sue's desk and I did give her a desk. I explained that in the other video, so I'm not going to explain it again. But, you know, we have just a bunch of, you know, stuff here and we have, we do have a picture of the twins as toddlers. And there is Daniel and Mary Sue with them, probably like a family photo, a professional photo. But um, 
Anyway, we're going to go over here and there is a story behind that. I'm going to try to get that out before I get this out, but who the heck knows what's going to happen. You know, it just depends on what my schedule is. The girls did design this themselves and they had two different visions of how they wanted the study area to go. And well, they had to compromise, but it's, it's a nice compromise. I think it looks good. It kind of brings out the best of both of them. And well, yeah, we really needed that because, you know, if they could quit fighting for long enough to get, you know, to be able to compromise on something, which they did again, long story, but you'll be seeing that in another video if you haven't seen it already. And yes, this used to be Daniel's workout area, but now that he has been kicked out of the house, the girls can use it so they can, you know, study and stuff. So, um, Anyway, that's pretty much it for the downstairs. We are going to be heading upstairs now. And, wow, okay, that didn't do that well at all. But, um, okay, so here we are. We're in an upstairs hallway. Now, I haven't changed this too much, but it just, uh, hallways are just kind of blah. Like, most people keep them clear, but if it's clear, it just looks like somebody halfway did it. But anyway, there we have another cute picture of them playing in the little toddler pool that's so adorable. But, um... Yeah, we have, you know, a chair here, and I'm going to come back in a minute, but first I'm going to go into Angela's room. Now, this room hasn't really changed at all. The only thing I added here were just some pictures of her and Dustin, because I felt like if Lilith has a bunch of pictures of her and Dirk, it would only be fair if Angela had some pictures of her and Dustin. So I took some of them, and I put them in her room, because like I said, it was, it's only fair, guys, but I do think these are some cute pictures. I did add a couple of things to this room though you will notice that there's a little flamingo poster I felt like that fit perfectly in Angela's room and you also know she has a black lamp and that was a gift from Lilith actually kind of to make amends kind of thing and once again I don't know if this is going to go up before after the story and it actually just kind of irks me a little bit because I really genuinely love some of the stuff in Angela's room but I love Lilith, and poor Lilith doesn't really like all the bright pastel colors that much. She prefers darker colors. So I'm looking at things like um, this little collage of pictures on the wall here, and I'm like, why can't Lilith love that? Well, maybe she does like the design, just not the colors. Maybe she'd prefer it would be, you know, in darker colors. So that that's just something, you know, that's just like an internal conflict I'm like constantly having with myself, but... As I tell myself, if I don't have internal conflicts over this stuff, it means I'm not interested in it anymore, and that's a bad thing. So we're going to go out here, and we're going to go into the hall. You can see there's a bunch of three pictures here, more family photos, this one by the fountain, and just, you know, just a couple pictures of the girls as toddlers. They they were so cute when they got along, you know? But, um, and see, once again, I'm having that struggle because I like Angela's outfit. They're a lot better than Lilith's, but, you know, I wanted them to fit each of them, and... Their parents would have dressed them, but they probably would have color-coded them. Anyway, we are in the girls' bathroom here. Once again, not much has changed with the exception of the little towel rack over here. And, you know, I was thinking maybe uh, maybe I did forget to put a backsplash on the wall. I probably should do that for the next time, but, um, yeah, not maybe that much. I think I probably would have added that, too, but that is the girls' bathroom. Not, not all that much to see here. Anyway, this next part is a little bit different because wow what am I doing I cannot work the camera but um I did add one of those tiny living bookshelves I'm gonna go over here so you all can see it but yeah um another picture of the girls or one girl I don't remember which one that is but um yeah I did kind of add that because I thought that would be an interesting thing to add to kind of add um character to this hallway and that is a bunch of pictures. I could just see Mary Sue liking that, but that just seems like a very Mary Sue-like thing. So anyway, in here we have Lilith's room, and this is the room that has probably changed the most, aside from the study area. And that's because, if you remember, when I first put this room together, I struggled a bit because I was going for dark yet feminine because I feel like that's Lilith's personality. That's, you know kind of her expressing herself and this is you know the one place where she can do that but there really wasn't just all that much stuff that matched that style and you know I've been pretty much this room has been like a work in progress since like August I've done episodes of Trouble in Paradise while this room has been changing so you you've probably noticed that 
But anyway, here we have the little heart collage of her and Dirt, which is just so cute. But anyway, this room is probably the one I'm proudest of in this house because it's Lilith's room, guys. I, I love Lilith. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of... I guess I'm just kind of drawn to the soul and the sarcastic people because lately I've been watching Big Hero 6, the series, and I really like Go-Go, so <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm just drawn to those kind of people, but um, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you a lot in this room. But over here, there's a collage of her and the friends she made when she went to Strange Town. There's, you know, nail polish over there. Um, she has a little Meduso that probably, there's a lot of the stuff that were gift, gifts from Dirk. That probably was a gift from Dirk. Another thing that Lilith really loves is just contrasting stuff. And that's why, you know, we got the butterflies in here. That's just a bright contrast to the dark walls. So, um, not, I mean, she, she loves darker colors, but she loves things that contrast too. And so we go over here, we can see she has another little bulletin board here. Oh, wow. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm losing my mind here. But, um, yeah, we have another little cork board, pictures of her and Dirk, just a ton of them. We have her future cube and her hamster toy, which she played a lot with as a child. So that's kind of sitting there because it's sentimental to her. And we also have, you know, a little bear that Dirk won for her. And yeah, she de she definitely keeps that there because, you know, it it's this is like Dirk's board. Okay, that's just the her and Dirk wall just all the way over here. And, you know, it's just he is the most important person in her life. So, yeah, it's, it would make sense that she has like a whole, you know, wall space for dedicated to their relationships so anyway we go over here and we see a huge change with the um, dresser once again very contrasty because that fits her personal style and we have kind of we have the bright speech bubble over here and we have a second dresser that's probably you know like an underwear drawer or something like that but um we have a porta pal on top of there that actually was a gift from dirk so again another gift from dirk but there's a lot of these in this room Anyway, over here we have the guitar and some musical stuff because, you know, she she is a music lover at heart and she likes, she taught herself how to play guitar when she was grounded. So that's kind of like, you know, her hobby that, you know how they say that, you know, if you want a successful relationship, you need to take time to yourself and do your own hobbies. That's what that is for her. So anyway, we have kind of like a makeshift little vanity table over here. We have a bunch of string lights of pictures. Those are pretty much pictures of her and Dirk when they were children. I didn't really take all that many pictures of those because, well, then you wouldn't get, you know, the string lights. But um, we got a poof there. It kind of mirrors the ones that Dirk has in his room. And again, more pictures. And we go back here and we actually see that she has a little desk area with her own little laptop. That was a gift from her grandparents because her parents were like, okay, we're getting you girls one laptop. It's going in Angela's room because Angela's the most responsible one, which just, we love Angela better than you. That's how Lilith took that. But anyway, here we have Dirk and Lilith going to homecoming right after they officially became boyfriend and girlfriend. So, you know, I think they had already established that they were going to go together, but Dirk still formally asked her, which was just adorable. And over here, we have more pictures of them. And he, especially here, we have a really sexy picture of Dirk because what girl wouldn't want a sexy picture of her boyfriend on her wall? Like, <laughs> you know, I mean, I just feel like that's just the kind of thing, you know, she's lonely and she can't see him. She could just look at that picture. And we have the desk area over here. We have this lamp, which actually was a gift from Angela. That's why it's kind of purple. But anyway, that's pretty much it for the house tour. We saved the best for last. So one more look at Lilith's room. And I'm going to remind you right now that if you like this video, you should feel free to leave a like and a comment if you want to. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more Trouble in Paradise stuff. And you can always follow me on social media. I am on Instagram if you want to see behind the scenes, fun facts, stuff like that. You can follow me on Instagram at VisitJoan. You want to see my thoughts to all things gym related. You can follow me on Twitter at VisitJoanVideos. But anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. Bye, everybody.